This is our final Legends Super Fight of the day. Wellington, Megaton Diaz, formerly of Brazil, now residing in Phoenix, Arizona. Megaton Jiu-Jitsu, Gracie Maita, team member, is making his way to the competition area. Megaton, the two-time Pan Am champion, three-time European champion. I can go on and on of all the championships. Still competes in the adult division at the highest level. Had the chance to roll with Megaton maybe two years ago and got schooled <laughs> by Wormguard. Just uh, Elio Sonica became one of the BJJ's top competitors in the late 1990s. Well, Megaton has never Elio really Elio taken Elio any Elio breaks. Elio. He just no. keeps Jiu going and going and going. Elio Sonica Moreira. Of course, we know uh, Megaton, father of Mackenzie Dern, champion. And uh, Megaton's got his hand full. Hands full in this rematch. Helio, Soneca, Morera, Carlos Gracie Jr., black belt. 96 world champion, 97 Brazilian champion. Actually uh, was one of the really active competitors in the later part of the 90s. Moved to the United States, started an association, was, uh, training some mixed martial arts fighters in the West, I believe. And this is a rematch from the World Championship in 1996. If you haven't seen it, get the VHS tape copy. Yeah, I, I watched that match when I was, I think, a blue belt. And I was like, holy cow, this Seneca guy is amazing. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah I mean, it was his day that day, so. Megaton, as he had mentioned in his pre-fight, has been looking forward to this for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, Megaton, amazing takedowns. Judo is yeah. his, you know, but you'll see him pull guard, you'll see him show his diversity. And you know, Megaton's been competing for quite a long time, so NECA not so much. So it'll be interesting to see how the experience in these last years will play a factor. And, and, and in their minds, do you, do you think they just go right back to that match in 96 right now? Like all of a sudden they're in 96? Flashbacks. <laughs> if they see Henzo in the audience, they will. Oh, Henzo's here. Yeah, we saw him earlier. Look at that. Soneka on an attack. Soneka has a really nice reverse homoplata. There's a clip of it online. And he actually does it off of the double underpass. He'll stack you, and if he sees your arm, he'll step over your arm, grab your wrist, and spin out with that reverse homoplata. And he does it really fast. See Mackenzie Dern, according to her father. Very interesting. Uh, we have a documentary on flow grappling where Megaton you know, says, uh, we used to say, who's that, who's that little girl? Oh, that's Megaton's daughter. And now people are saying, who's this old man with Megaton, with uh, Mackenzie? And they're like, oh, that's Mackenzie's dad. <laughs> so times are changing. Passing of the torch. Mackenzie becoming one of the biggest names in the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu now, transferring into mixed martial arts. So so Neca trying to pummel that underhook and push that grip away off that collar. That's a very important grip fight battle right there is that lower collar for Megaton. And so Neca needs to make sure that that, isn't, that grip doesn't creep up there too high. Megaton now has one advantage. Moreira a penalty. Less than four minutes to go here. Seneca really looking for that Oma Plata on this, on his left side there. Again, there's that grip battle. Very important fight there. Well, 
three minutes left. This is definitely a lot different than their matchup 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago. You know, and I have to say, I think unlike the Amari Patech Travern match, uh, you know, now the person that's been competing the most seems to be using that experience a little bit. So Neca just may not be used to the some of these positions that Megaton is throwing at him. Yeah, he's able to smash his knees to the side here. Megaton's got a good passing position. And Seneca, oh, able, nice. to, oh, able to keep that left knee inside, almost scooped up for an X guard. You hear Mackenzie screaming for the Toriando pass. Yeah, and Me Megaton just looking a little sharper with the grips. Seneca should elevate a little and bring that right foot back. It's in, in jeopardy here of getting those knees crushed down again. There he does. Oh, look at that. Sweep attack. Wow. Beautiful sweep by Seneca. Awesome sweep. Very nicely done. Arm drags comes up and gets to the top. Good leg weave situation here for Seneca with that left hand controlling that bottom knee and just needs a good grip with that right hand. He's definitely changed the uh, momentum of the match. Megaton looks a little off now, looks a little concerned. Seneca gaining some confidence. Yeah, he's got a good left-handed grip through the legs there. He just got to get that right hand up, and Megaton's doing a good job of keeping that grip at bay. Megaton looks like he's a little frustrated here. Sitting up now, foot in the bicep, switching to an arm lock. Nice attempt there by Megaton. Beautiful. Nice little combination, but just wasn't able to hit it. Fight! Fifteen seconds, and Soneka in risk of being swept here. In the closing seconds of this match, seven seconds to go. Can Megaton pull off the Hail Mary sweep or submission? And it looks like Soneka wins once again in this rematch, 20 years in the making. Soneka celebrating, praising his opponent here. Great match. <laughs> Seneca. Whoa, quite the celebration yes, there. Yes, it is. Uh, I think he's got to be careful. Here, please. Awesome matchup. Uh, Megaton looked to be, you know, a little bit more aggressive early on. Soneka had that sweep, beautiful sweep. I think it was off of an arm drag. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was able to get that angle off that arm drag and came up. Let's put Megaton down, but hopefully we'll see that in the replay there. So our final Legends match has concluded. We'll be uh, showing the rest of the final.